So hey folks, uh, welcome to our first lecture of module three. In this module, I'm going to introduce you to uh, C sharp. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is C sharp, right? See C sharp. Uh, first of all, one of the most important thing I'm going to tell you right now is pronounce C sharp as C sharp only, not C hash. Like I have seen many people, they like uh, they don't know that how it is pronounced, or they even sarcastically tell that. it is c hash guys it's not c hash it's c sharp right uh, so yeah so c c sharp is an object oriented general purpose programming language all right it was developed by microsoft uh, in the early 2000s right uh, the development team was led by uh, anders helsberg and it is a part of uh, the dot net framework it can be used to develop different types of uh, software as like uh, console applications windows applications uh, then web applications mobile applications and games and uh, so yeah and it is also being used in ar vr development so yeah so c sharp is a multi multi uh, like general purpose program language it can do anything <laughs> right so yeah this is a very basic introduction to c sharp this is what c sharp is now let's get into the coding part all right so this is a very basic code structure all right so using system namespace hello world then class program then static void main then console dot write line then uh, console dot read right so don't worry uh, the if you are not able to understand what are these don't worry i am there right now i'll be coding this all right and after that i'll be make you understand what is this all right so here is my c sharp compiler right this is my c sharp compiler so i'm going to write using system namespace hello world right class uh let's say program public uh, static void main uh string uh, uh args then console dot uh, right line hello viewers sorry then console dot read let's uh, run this program let's see what happens um wait it's compiling the program cool now if i click enter the program will be finished so what did just happen man it printed something right it printed something in the console can you see it in here it's 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 printing something right it's it's printing definitely it's printing so let's understand how is this working what are these gibberish right let's understand so by the way congratulations you uh, coded your first uh, program so let's get back to the notes so yeah first of all let's let's know what a directive is right what is a directive see a directive basically tells our program all right sorry not the program a uh, directive basically tells our compiler all right what is a compiler compiler compiles the program all right we haven't set up any sort of uh, local compiler because we are using our own online uh, ide for coding all right so a directive is basically directs our compiler all right it tells our compiler that our program is using this name spaces our program is using this certain name spaces all right so what is a directive right see this using system this this using system is a directive this using system is a directive all right similarly there are others also like system dot collections and all those things all right uh, like you uh, watched in the that uh, unity video right in in that unity tutorial that there was 
uh, using unity engine right so yeah there are multiple namespaces sorry multiple directives so yeah uh, this directives basically this using system directive tells us all right this using system directive tells us that our program is using this system namespace all right it is telling that uh, to our compiler, it is telling to our compiler that, hey compiler, I am your C program. This person created me. So I'm using this uh, system na namespace. Are you okay with that? And that compiler uh, replied, yes, I'm totally okay with that because this uh, using system is already predefined in my uh, uh, compiler code base, right? So I'm totally okay with that. We can run the program, so yeah compiler happy our code happy the uh, the coder happy right so yeah now as i told you about namespaces right see namespaces now they are basically a collection all right they are collection collection of whom namespaces are collection of whom i just told that namespaces are a collection but collection of whom See, namespaces are basically a collection of other code properties, you can say, or other code structures, right, or other code elements. All right. So, these uh, code elements can include classes, like, see, re currently, we only created our own namespace. This is our hello world namespace. It is containing a class, right? It is containing a class. It is containing a program class. So, we certainly created our own namespace right we certainly created our own namespace so yeah now we understood what are namespaces all right what are namespaces is, is. see and uh, if i have to repeat namespaces are a collection of code elements all right it is basically a collection of code elements it contains other classes, other interfaces, other uh, enums, other structure, uh, structs, all right. So, namespaces are a collection of those things. All right, see, C Sharp, our C Sharp is a programming language, right? Uh, C Sharp has a large amount of code, all right. C Sharp has a large amount of pre-written code that, like the team who developed C Sharp, they already wrote codes for us all right useful codes for us that we are using all right that we are using but can you can you tell that if uh, the programmers if the programmers took all those programs and just put uh, put it in uh, only one file wouldn't it be cluttered up like there are multiple hundreds like hundreds thousands code files wouldn't it be cluttered up and now if i had to find one file then wouldn't it be cluttered up? So what they did, they divided those pre-written code into different namespaces. All right. See, using system is not on is not the only namespace available. All right. There are many other. All right. So yeah. So our code, the like the C sharp, the developers who wrote C sharp, they they actually divided all those code. All right. They divided all those code into different uh, namespaces all right uh, the system namespace all right the system namespace that is available it actually uh, contains the codes all right codes for methods that allows us to do certain functions all right like if we want to print we can do that so or, uh, i already told that we can actually declare our own namespace we even did we even did uh, declared our own namespace all right, we can copy this and create our another namespace. All right, I would show you how to do that. And you know, uh, what are the advantages of uh, using namespaces, right? See, first of all, one more thing, if you are creating two or three or n numbers of namespaces, it is really important for you to name it differently, all right? The namings should not be same. So then if the first name is hello world, uh, I mean, your first uh, namespace name is Hello World. The second namespace name should be Hello Priyanshu or any other name, right? Or your name. So remember that. And one of the major things of like helpful things of uh, namespaces are namespaces are two different environment. You could say, all right. In namespace one, 
uh, see namespaces basically help us to prevent the conflicts name conflicts like see if we if we uh, if i show you here all right if i if i create if i let's say if i created a same type of variable i know that you won't understand this as of now all right you won't understand this all right i'm pretty sure about that but don't worry all right don't worry i'm going to cover about variables comments and all those things now let's play it let's just play it see see it is giving us error you know why it is giving us error it is giving us error the reason is that we are using the same name the same name all right so in you uh, in c sharp we can't use the same name all right we can't use so it's really important to give different names but 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 if i had to show you all right we can declare we can give the same names in second namespace all right like this is one of our namespace right so namespace hello priyanshu all right this is uh, another this is another namespace i'm creating so class program can you see i am giving the same name in here right the same name in here now now let's let's try running it man let's try running it see it didn't returned us any sort of error it didn't why because namespaces you can think of namespaces are different environments actually they have the uh, in there if uh, namespace 1 has program and namespace 2 has program the same names then it won't conflict it won't create any problem so yeah i hope you understand right i hope you understood this thing now uh we looked into the example right we looked into the example oh, oh yeah one more thing i forgot to tell you that is that this this main method all right see this main method the main method you could see this is the starting point all right this is the starting point of our program the main method is basically the starting point of our program it's where our program starts all right if i if i give the same thing all right let me copy this and put it in here if i give the same thing in here where it didn't got printed oh why is it happening wait copy paste all right it isn't pasting i don't know oh 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 uh, i got to know i didn't end the program right sorry i'm really sorry about that i was like oh god now let's let's try running this i'm uh, i'm sure you would get error see it is giving as error see it is writing program a dot out has more than one entry point defined do you know what it means it means that there are two entry points and main method is the entry point so in a program in a particular file there should be only one method all right there should be only one main method because it is the starting point of a program right because if we have if we give two uh, main methods in the two separate uh, namespaces then our compiler will be like hey man which which main method should i go for i'm confused and because of that and because of that you you are very rude to me you gave me two main method i am really angry about that so i will what i will give you i will give you error and you won't be able to run your program so our compiler will tell this so to make our compiler happy to make our compiler work fine means to make our program work fine we need to uh, provide only one main method in our but in our any in any of our namespace all right now 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 yeah oh okay okay i also forgot to tell you about these this two right my bad my bad so what see you have already seen that what this console dot write line does this console dot write line basically prints all right this console dot write line prints a statement but what what this console dot read read does all right i have written it in here see the console dot read all right it basically waits for a key press from the user before closing the console execution like if i if i execute it all right if i if i let's say execute i will show you all right i will show you 
now if i let's say i try doing something like editing this program can you see you can't edit the source code when program is running you can you can't edit the source code when program is running means our program is running it hasn't ended if i press enter see our program ended now if i if i had to comment this down all i know you don't know about comments don't worry or let's say i remove this i leave remove this particular code line all right if i remove this see i didn't even need to press enter it just uh, exited so that's what our uh, console.read does all right so let's let's get uh, get an idea about our main method all right so what is it so see the main method in here the main method is basically the starting point all right the starting point of any of any of our uh, c sharp program all right yeah so our the main method the main method in here the main method here is our entry point or the starting point of our c sharp program right uh, whenever whenever we run a program all right why did why did when we saw the example where we uh, like added another added another public static void main in in uh, our second name spit why didn't it ran it didn't ran because there should be only one entry point of the program i already told you what would the compiler will feel if you give uh, two entry points right the compiler will be angry it will be an insult for him i guess so <laughs> so yeah there should only be one entry point all right one main method and also one thing that these entry points are called first all right then any other methods like if you define any other methods they won't be called first the first thing that will be called is this main method all right i hope you understand so yeah there's another parameter this string args all right if you don't know what a string is man don't worry i am there na i am there for you i am there for you to make you understand it is i, I will make you understand this uh, wh what is this string args all right what is this string arg? this is an array all right this is a collection it can take a collection of strings all right it can takes a collection of string if if you are not able to understand what is this don't worry next lecture is there all right next lecture is there for you after that lecture you will understand what it is what it does all right and i will recapitulate recapitulate this particular portion in that don't worry so basically it can take this this string method can take sorry this string argument can take multiple multiple amounts of string data right and i already told you what this console dot write line is and what this console dot read is all right so for the for today please for this lecture our our uh, first first lecture is completed all right so our module 3 first lecture is done all right see ya bye bye see you in the next lecture thank you